Looking ahead now tomorrow, House Speaker Nancy Pelosi plans to introduce a bill that would create what she's calling a commission on presidential capacity involving the presidential transfer of power. Such a move would set up a mechanism by which to remove President Donald Trump from office. ABC 21's Vince Lovergene is here with more about Pelosi's proposal. Krista, Brian, under the 25th Amendment, if Donald Trump were to be removed from office, Vice President Mike Pence would become the acting president. Pelosi's office released a statement this afternoon explaining the move, and I quote, to help ensure effective and uninterpreted leadership in the highest office in the executive branch of government, end quote. We talked to Indiana Congressman Jim Banks to get his reaction to Pelosi's idea for legislation. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi says because President Trump contracted COVID-19 and is on medication for it, he is, as she puts it, in an altered state, and she says she questions his judgment. Come here tomorrow. We're going to be talking about the 25th Amendment. The 25th Amendment was ratified in the wake of John F. Kennedy's assassination in 1963. It allows for the transfer of power from the president to the vice president in the case of the president's incapacitation, removal, or resignation from office or death. A president can reclaim authority from the vice president when he deems himself fit for duty. President Trump tweeted in response to Pelosi's comments today, saying, quote, Crazy Nancy is the one who should be under observation. They don't call her crazy for nothing, end quote. And after the press conference with Pelosi, U.S. Congressman Jim Banks voiced his displeasure. At this point, the American people are sick and tired of these types of, of games and of the political tricks by Nancy Pelosi and others on the far left. Um, let's let the election speak for itself. Um, I have, I'm, I'm very confident that the president will be reelected. Banks followed that up with this. For four years, we've heard Speaker Pelosi and, and Democrats try to uh, minimize or overturn the results of the election in 2016. America has moved on. We want to move on again and get this election behind us and put our leaders in a place where they can lead. And Pelosi is also questioning why the White House has refused to reveal when the president had his last negative COVID-19 test. Again, she says she will hold her next news conference about her proposal tomorrow.